Matt. So that's that's a lot of heroes. Not kidding, Dragon Quest heroes. So so before we go any further, like just to elaborate, like what kind of game is Dragon Quest Heroes? I think we got a good idea from like the footage we saw, but do you want to tell us a little bit about like you know what you're doing in Dragon Quest Heroes and what you're trying to accomplish? Yeah, sure, no problem. So Dragon Quest Heroes is really the first time that Dragon Quest as a franchise has gone full-scale action RPG. Um, so it's a really, really kind of slick hack and slash game where there's just tons of mobs all over the screen. Like, uh, you got to kill these little slimes all over no. the place. Even at, and they're smiling the whole time while you're oh. hacking and slashing them. I won't feel too bad about it, but Helix, <laughs> though, he's on our side, right? Yeah, he's on our side. So he'll oh, okay. constantly go around and heal you and, and say these little... Um, puns all the time I just but, want the puns but yeah I mean I mean the game uh, we feature four brand new characters to this uh, there's eight old-school kind of classic Dragon Quest uh, heroes if you will yeah I definitely recognized a few I haven't played like every single Dragon Quest but I played um, Dragon Quest 8 and 9 and and the very very first one but for someone to enjoy the game, do they have would they have to have like played like the first like the, from the numbered series or they could they, could they just jump into Dragon Quest heroes and like have a good time no, the the story's all brand new, so really you can you can jump in if you've never followed the story or or aren't really familiar with any of the characters. So it's really perfect for anybody. So literally, like uh, like your eight year old niece can play, or or your eight year old grandpa can play. Very cool. It's, it's that easy. So I see there's like a, a level element. Or can you like when you level up? Is it like just for like that stage, or is it throughout the game? Are you leveling up? No, there's a pretty deep kind of uh, a customization and tech tree system in the game. So kind of core RPG and really, really kind of hardcore gamers will get a kick out of it because the combo system gets pretty deep as well as the customization. So you can kind of max out different abilities as well as kind of uh, if you're more of kind of like um, if you want to customize a character to be more of a tank or more of kind of a, a healer, you can, you can do so. Oh, very cool. And so, I mean, how, how big is the game? Like... Um, so me myself, I've put in about 40 hours. 40 hours. But I'm trying to do everything. I'm one of those, those like, um, completionists. Yeah, one of those platinum guys. So uh, I'm having a blast, uh, and I haven't quite beaten it. But uh, there's just like so much to do, and even after that much time, uh, I haven't even gotten bored of the game once. Oh man! So you mentioned platinum. So this is a, a PlayStation 4 exclusive, right? Yeah, that's right. Coming uh, to the PlayStation 4 uh, October 13th. October 13th, right around the corner. Oh yeah, man! Only a month and a half away. So. I mean, what else about Dragon Quest Heroes like makes it stand out from like other games in, this, in the same genre? Like, you know, the kind of like uh, you had mentioned me before, like, Musou like was like the, was like the genre where like you know you're around like you know going around the battlefield and you're commanding troops and just kind of like you know swan down enemies nonstop with your powers. So like, what what makes it stand out? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a really good question. So the game is developed by uh, the Omega Force team over at Koei Tecmo. So they're oh. they're famous for making the Dynasty Warriors, right. Hyrule Warriors. Uh, which are fantastic games, but uh, really this game is not a Musou. Right. Uh, for for a couple key elements, one, uh, Musos are just kind of like you against the world, but this right. is a this is a party-based system. Uh, and what we really bring unique from Dragon Quest is the alchemy system and customization, as well as kind of the deep RPG mechanics. So it's not really a Musou in that sense, as well as uh, everybody's got a different kind of skill set and ability set. So how does it work with the party system? Can you just like swap at will to like different characters or? Just uh, like yeah, so basically on the on the battlefield when you enter a stage, uh, you have your four set guys, um, and then you switch between them by just clicking L2, right. um, and it's that simple. But then in between stages, uh, you kind of have your hub, which is called the Stone Cloud, right. uh, where you kind of rest and you do your tech tree stuff and, and all that and buy new weapons and stuff. Uh, and then that's where you can swap in and swap out new characters, so you can kind of keep everybody at an equal balance as you, as you go. Very cool. So. Yeah. For the players out there that have played the Dragon Quest games, like what are they going to recognize in the game besides, let's say, the, the heroes? That obviously, like sounds like they're from like, all over the series. And uh, what else will they kind of like recognize? Are there any kind of like you know, like fan, like you know, fan service in here? Honestly, the entire game is yeah, fan, fan service. service. It's all fan service. Yeah, I mean, everybody's favorite slime just is all over the place. The monsters are all kind of classic monsters, from the skeletons to the drakies to the gigantes. I tell myself of off. There's too much going on. It's man. literally it's, it's, that it's, it's, hot, huh? It's, it's, it's hotness all around. Honestly, if you guys are watching this and you're at PAX, we're giving these away at our booth. Oh, so swing by the Square Enix booth. These slime fans to cool you off. Oh, at least these are pretty sexy. But we love the fans. Yeah, yeah, we literally we love the fans. <laughs> I, but but yeah. <laughs> What's the, is anyone counting these? Is anyone count, taking count? Seriously, I'm oh. not even trying. But honestly, there's tons of fan service in this game. So if, if you've played Dragon Quest 1 through X number of, of, of titles, uh, there's tons of cool stuff. Oh, man. Anything else you want to share about like the game that I haven't like 
brought up. I mean, like yeah, this is this is an awesome element. Literally, you're like segueing it so smoothly. <laughs> like, well, like next like, part of the segment. No, but, uh, no. Um, so what the character here Aurora just did is uh, she filled her tension gauge. So right. if you look on the lower left, right. you'll see a character's bar um, kind of kind of fill up. It's like a half circle. Uh, and that's your tension meter. So the more combos you do, the the uh, the more damage you do, that pink meter fills. And so right. once it's full, you kind of uh, get this coup de gras, this uh, special ability where you can just do more damage and and unleash these like super epic spells and and abilities. So uh, that's really a cool element as well. So you see here, this is Doric. Um, he's the he's the king. And uh, yeah. Wow. So now, um, is there like a, a loot system? Like like you know like like you know. Loot drops, equipping like new weapons and stuff like that. Like, how does that kind of work? Yeah, I think with any great kind of uh, RPG or really any great game, there's definitely uh, gear, there's loot, there's uh, all sorts of items that you can craft as well. Um, but one of the really cool, unique things that we have. Oh, this is the tension meter. Aha! There we go. And then so Unleash. it turns all pink and gets crazy. So the art style seems extremely unique. Like, did you mention someone? Especially special working on <laughs> on that. Yeah, so so the the character design is done by Akira Toriyama. So you guys might know his name from doing everything Dragon Ball related. So how exciting like is, like does that have to be to have like the man behind like like Dragon Ball like you know designing the characters and just have, like has he always been doing it or like he's just been, he's just always been the man behind behind like Dragon Quest? I you know yeah. I, I feel so bad. I, I just never I've never <laughs> knew that. But I guess looking at the slime now, I guess. I guess it makes sense. It's all coming together. I wouldn't say not so much the slime, but if you look at the the main Ugly character, characters. yeah, uh, you can kind of get that like, feel. But yeah, he's he's done it since since the very beginning. But really, the the game's an all star cast. So the music is done by uh, this guy. His name is Koichi Sugiyama. Right. Uh, the general direction of all Dragon Quest is done by Yuji Horii. So um, yeah, so. So many people may not know who those people are, but Dragon they're, Quest fans are like, yeah, they're, 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 yeah. they're legends. Right. Yeah, seriously. So wow! All right. So now, I mean, do you have a favorite character in the game? Like, I mean, it seems so. You can, you, you choose four characters to be on your party, right? Yeah. And I'm guessing you don't have all these characters like at the very beginning, do you? Or do you earn them all as you go along? Or how does that kind of work? The no, unlocks? that's a good question. Um, so you start out with four characters. Right. Lucius, Aurora, Doric, and Isla. And then along the way, the classic Dragon Quest characters, they appear from different universes. Ah. Uh, and so slowly over time, that they, they build in. And so my personal favorite is uh, is Elena. And she's kind of a melee character. And so she can split into three and do these super awesome combos. Um, I also like Yangus because he can always do kind of <coughs> these, these armor debuffs. That uh, is so, so cool. This is a huge giant. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what his actual name is. But his name is Gigantes. Gig Gig Gigantes. <laughs> that, that bit's super, he's so happy, though. He does, I not, know. he does not mind. Just stomping around. And the you're, game. Yeah, you're shooting him right in the eye. Oh, he's still yeah. smiling he's at cool. you. He's cool. He's like, yeah, go, go wild, guys. Yes, I seriously. mean, but the game just looks so absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, honestly, this is the best that Dragon Quest has ever looked, um, and we're just we're just so pleased with it, and we're just excited to get really get it into to, to all the fans' hands. So um, we we can't wait till it comes out on October 13th. October 13th, yeah. PlayStation 4. Where can people go to like find out? Uh, where can people go to find out more about Dragon Quest Heroes? Like a website. He's we follow Helix on on Twitter, right? This little guy. Facebook page, Twitter page, uh, main product website, DragonQuest-Game.com. Got it. DragonQuest-Game.com. Can it. I mention one more thing? Yeah, dude, bring it, bring it on, please. So if you pre-order the game at kind of most major retailers, you get five free slime weapons, and they're super punny, uh, and they're awesome. So there's like the slime sword, and then there's like a slime on a whip. There's all sorts of like wacky I want full things. slime gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just fully decked out. And then there's also a collector's edition that's oh, awesome. What was well. the collector's edition? Uh, so it comes all in this really cool uh, treasure chest oh. packaging. Uh, that you can reuse and put whatever you want in there afterwards. Right. You get a, a a smaller version of one of these. Right. Is it plushy? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Small slime plushy. Yes, please. You get a lanyard. You get a keychain, and you get eleven uh eleven additional more slime weapons. Oh my god! I yeah, want all yeah, the yeah. slime weapons. Just like the treasure chest itself sounds really cool. It's really really and nice. I, I can see this on like the website. This is uh exclusively from the Square Enix online store. Oh, all right, got yeah, it. Got yeah, it. yeah. All so right. we hope you guys pre-order. There's yeah. there's very limited stock left, so so make sure you pre-order. So it's you don't exactly what I did right after this. And but, oh, 
This is the first time Dragon Quest has ever had a collector's edition in North America. So it's really, really we want to do. For we you gotta guys buy fans. it so that there's more. So yeah. like one, yeah. So there we go. Let's make it happen. So Matt, thank you very much. Dragon Quest Heroes looks amazing. So thank you very much, dude. Cannot wait to play. Thank you, that thank right you. Now, actually, you want to hold our friend the slime? Yeah, there we go. So guys, <laughs> be back in a few minutes. Thanks for joining us.